I'm Michael Costanza. I'm with Seven Lights. I'm the creative one, the CEO. I'm in charge of the video shoots. I'm here with Earl, good friend of mine. Um, we met and we have been doing some projects together. So Earl, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, obviously I'm kind of in the music world a little bit with everything. So we're here, Warehouse 231, where it's the studio, kind of a performance venue and now doing video shoots. Yes, I've been so, at the video, uh, the concert. Concert, yeah. The concerts are awesome here. The lighting, yeah. everything that you do, and it's basically a family business kind of, you have your kids back there doing yeah. the lighting. They were awesome. Yeah. They look uh, great. I, I kind of have a built-in uh, road crew. Yes. Five, five <laughs> kids and kind of have them all doing something. But yeah, all this started just 30 years ago. I was in a band touring around, playing, playing music, making CDs, doing, doing all that kind of stuff. So, and we, and we had a lot of production on our band. Okay. So time out on that. For those that don't know what CDs are, can you explain that? <laughs> CD. We actually are old school. <laughs> we actually had cassette tapes too. Oh, wow. So yeah. Well, yeah. you know, so, you know, CDs, uh, obviously just the little, the yeah. CD and digital and, you know, went from cassettes, which the little cassette yeah. way was way before Apple music, way before Apple music and all nice. And really, back then, in the in the um, this was the '90s, early '90s, we started uh, we started putting things on the internet. So we actually had a full CD online on the internet, 1994, '95. Wow. Yeah. So we we were doing some showcases, and and I remember in a showcase somebody asking us, "Do you think that music online will ever be?" the norm and I, I remember my answer was I don't see why not so and it was a TV set. I wish I had that recording but but I remember but I remember saying that but you know CDs you know back then was a digital recording on a compact disc yeah so now we all Apple Music Spotify whatever it is all on the phone so all on the phone but the band touring we had a had a big production you know similar to this we toured around had a road crew and so really I took a little bit of break from that for a while, raising a family, and then kind of got back into it when we've acquired this building, and my wife has a business in the front, some in the back, which is literally a warehouse, so we just started building from there, and it's turned into a, a venue for doing concerts, and in the back, back there is a music studio, so we can handle everything from somebody walking in with, I got an acoustic song, which is or we're going to kind of talk about what Tom did yep. and take it all the way to shooting a video and getting it out on YouTube or, you know, wherever it needs to be. Yeah. I mean, it's such a great place. I remember looking for something and somebody told me about this place and I basically came in here and I think your niece was up front and I said, I want to talk to somebody about renting the studio for a commercial because I, I could put a big um, green backdrop and shoot something here. And that's how we met, and it, yeah. it was such a great chance of happening. The, t the time, the timing was kind of perfect because yeah. I was, I was, you know, I've shot videos, but not videos from a guy. You know, you've you've been in the business, <laughs> you've been in the business shooting videos in Nashville, and you know, the quality from that one was just. It, it was nice shooting a video, but not having to worry about doing the cinematography, and somebody can just handle all that. Yeah. So that 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 worked out really good. So that chance meeting of you coming to the show, it just worked. The timing was perfect. It was awesome. T um, tell me some of the bands you toured with. Um, my, well, my band back back in the 90s was the ba a band named 4AM. And so we toured anywhere from Michigan down to Key West. So, but we, w you know, we would open up for, you know, we opened up for Cinderella, uh, David Lee Roth, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Quiet Riot. Um, so we got to tour with a lot of you know and they'll play like theaters and stuff so it was fun to kind of play with those bands did you have to wear the pants like david lee roth no i did, I did. <laughs> he came he came out with a, he came out with a cigar and a big fur coat i think wow <laughs> and nice. he's exactly like you see him on camera whatever that's exactly yeah it's so. excellent well let's let's talk about what we did for tommy so i mean you played this song for me and it's a really great acoustic yeah. song i mean it really I could feel the passion in the words yeah. and stuff. And, and that is going to be released on June, June 6th. June 6th. Yeah. So we'll put a link in that on YouTube on this um, video so that you can get to it. So 
Tell me a little bit about your idea for that video. Well, you know, we, we have another song that was released earlier and he came in with a couple of songs and we started recording them and you know, that song ended up and they, he really comes in with an acoustic and we just, we build the song from there. So, you know, I kind of live with the songs for a long time because we start with the recording and I listen to it and get some ideas and I run it past him or the artist and they, oh yeah, let's try that. So, and then, you know, mixing. So I'm listening to the song a lot, well, you know, it's a lot of times in my car. Yeah. So yeah, Tom uh, came to me with an acoustic song and uh, we started building from there and living with a song, you know, kind of every day when you're working on it. And then you just kind of, a vision pops in your head, oh, this will be a good video. So that, right. that's just kind of where it came from me. And then I just kind of built from there. Of, I, did, I really didn't even exactly know what the song was about for him. Yeah. He you know, he told me later, which is <laughs> not necessarily the video, but he was okay. And, he, and he's the type of guy who will tell you, no, nah, I don't want to do that or I like it. So, but he was okay with it. So, you know, from there, the song was just kind of built from there. And I built a scene in my head. Or, and you, we kind of talked about some ideas. And right. you kind of helped me narrow it down and focus. So, you know, really from there, just coming in that one day and five or six different setups, shots, you know, knocking it out that quick. We kind of had, the whole vision was kind of yeah. there. And, and, and it really, the way you brought, you know, I've worked with a lot of directors and for you saying, oh, well, I need help. You really didn't on the directing. You really nailed it. I mean, I was really impressed never working with you, how well you had everything lined out and planned and how you told that story. I mean, it was easy for me to come and say, all right, we shoot this way, this way, because that's what I do. But your direction was awesome. And so I really felt like you have done this a lot. You you were saying, well, you know, I, I'm kind of worried. Maybe a lot in my head. You have to, it's, it's just a, to me, it's just a, you see the picture in your head and you're trying to, how do I get that? You, you did an awesome job of getting it across, I thought. And, and looking at the video and showing it to some friends of mine in the industry, they also thought you really got it across. I mean, you told a story and, and, you know, and I remember, you know, us coming up and him not wanting those close shots and he keeps his eyes and we, and we made him feel a little uncomfortable. Yeah. That's cause that's, that, but, that, that is uncomfortable, yeah. but you have, but, but he did it. It did. It, it, it worked out great. Yeah. He did a great job. Um, you know, I, everything that we did and everything that you edited, it really brought that song. It was a nice flow. We had some nice B roll shots. Cause I was, I introduced that B-roll. I said, well, you need something to cut to. Yeah, yeah. And, and you were like, okay. And you were like all open to the idea. And we had those lights behind them. And I wish I had about 10 more of those. It would yeah. be great to build a whole wall. We'll, we'll have to get some more lights and try it again. One yeah. Time. But yeah, I mean, so tell me what he thought about it after seeing it. He was really happy with how the video turned out. And it, like I said, it wasn't, I won't, and I won't speak for him, but it, it wasn't his song meaning, but he said, well, you know, the song can mean anything to anybody. So I, right. I, I get that. So I think he's, uh, he was, re he was really happy with how it turned out. And it, like I said, it's, it wasn't filming. It was more cinematography. The, yeah. the, the filming part of it was more cinematic than anything. So yeah. having you and your expertise in doing that, just cause I like, I know what I want it to look like. But I don't necessarily. It's going to take me ten times longer to get there. <laughs> where you can just like, oh, this is where we got it. Yeah, it, it was it was a lot of fun interpreting your vision. And and I got to say, one of the actors was in your band going nowhere. Several of them. Yeah, several. I'll, I'll, I'll but there was it. one that had a important role. So and I don't think he was too happy about it. <laughs> the uh, the the uh, there you yeah, There was a little little drink kind of throwing thing that we won't spoil it for everybody. <laughs> yeah. But really it was, it kind of worked out good because I don't, it, he wasn't necess necessarily expecting what happened. Yeah. Because the, sh <laughs> the shot that we did was a practice run yeah. and they did it and that's the one that we used. We yeah. normally ask how a lot of things work out. Exactly. So it was, uh, it came out really good on the on the film. Yeah, I, I always shoot every test run just in case and the, te the, the female talent got a little excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Caught him off guard, and he was like, <laughs> "But yeah, we had a built-in from band people. We had a built-in yeah. cast of people, and they all, you know, the the people we lined up really worked well for all yes. of the shots. So they, they kind of fit the part. Yeah, it, I, I think the people we got that you got really came through for us and really made it 
a special video. So, and you know, and I, I want to say I'm looking forward to doing a lot more with you. I oh yeah, have yeah, back. <laughs> yeah. We've talked about some other ideas yeah. for videos and stuff, and so I think it's uh, having someone with your expertise. You know, somebody with maybe a vision of the song or who's lived with it a long time, but then you can just kind of like, okay, here's how we got to do it. Yeah, it makes it makes it incredibly easy. Yeah, and it, and it's a lot of fun because I used to do a lot of videos, and then I went into the commercial world, yeah. and so it's good to get back into that. Hey, let's just go crazy. Yeah, yeah, more and, cre creative. Yes, creative, artistic kind of kind of stuff that you can do. Exactly, and you know, and I keep coming to all the concerts. I love seeing the concerts, and you know, hopefully you'll get those out online soon, and yeah, so people can watch them all over the country. Yeah, the concerts they're they're you know it's a busy place. A lot of things going on in between the studio concerts we actually even had a wedding in here oh wow <laughs> there, there was a <laughs> like we've had about everything so we had somebody had the, had their wedding in here so you know there's a lot of stuff going on and you know a lot of the concerts as far as what we've been filming we we live streamed during covid yeah as soon as covid hit we were live streaming in in april and had bands coming in here and you know had our little crew in here and those worked out really well um, so we're probably looking at doing some of that in the near future. Excellent. Well, hopefully we can be part of that. Yeah, with you. yeah, absolutely. So check out Warehouse 231. Watch the, for the song coming out. What's the name of the song? Not Afraid. Not Afraid by La Tommy. Larry Thomas Moore. Larry Thomas Moore. We call him Tommy. So it'll be released on June 6th. So keep an eye out for it. And hey, Earl, hey, yeah. I appreciate it. It yeah, was thank awesome you. working with yeah, you. Yeah. All right. Check you guys out later. Seven Lights. And that's a wrap.